Hello everyone, my name is Argelina, I am a singer, vocal coach and songwriter and today I want to share with you uh, some tips on how to choose a song to sing if you are a complete beginner in singing. Very often I get beginner singers in my studio that come to me because they want to learn to sing and they bring a song that is super super hard. It's not uncommon that they bring songs by Lady Gaga or Celine Dion or uh, Beyonce and singers that are virtuoso level and that had had a lot a lot of training and so they sing the song it doesn't go very well and they blame it on them not being talented enough and for some reason it's hard for people to understand that some songs require a lot of skill and a lot of practice and a lot of dedication and many many years of training and those singers have gone through that and if you are just starting you just haven't it doesn't have anything to do with natural talent and the other thing is nowadays songs that you hear in the radio they usually use a range of the voice that is not possible to access without training so when you are just starting out the goal really should be that you start getting familiar with pitch and rhythm Maybe if you played an instrument before, that will not be an issue for you. But if you have never played music before, then that's something you should definitely, definitely focus on. So when you are just starting singing, the goal for your songs should be that. So then, how to choose a song if you are a beginner? The first thing to have in mind is French. So when you just start singing lessons, you will come to the lessons with a voice that is already trained because you speak so when you speak you are using something that we call our chest voice which is a section of your of your vocal range at the beginning stages of singing training what we need to start doing is to strengthen the chest voice and to set up the instrument to do so safely and in singing function as i call it and there are other videos that i have about this so i will put the links in the description for you to check out your uh, chest voice has a different range if you are a woman and if you are a man it's a little bit different uh, if you are a woman it goes about an octave long so you want to choose songs that are about an octave long if you are a woman so it can be really hard to find songs that are up to an octave long because most songs that you hear in the radio go above that range but I have a few of them in a list and I put them together in a PDF. So if you want a list, you can download it from a link that I'm going to leave in the description. You can choose any of those songs. They are safe for you to start as a beginner. When you choose your song from the list, you need to transpose it to find your key. So most of those songs are in a in an appropriate key, but if it was either too low for you or too high for you, you can transpose it. For example, if I was to play the song yesterday, and sing, the song is in F. Yesterday, if that is maybe too high for me, I could bring the key down one semitone. So look at me playing the piano. I'm going to bring everything one semitone below. Yesterday, if it's still too high, I can keep on bringing it lower. Yesterday. Yesterday. How do you do that? If you don't play an instrument, very easy. You can download an extension. So I'm going to show you what happens and how to transpose a pitch. So basically you sh can just Google transpose pitch extension for Google Chrome and then you download the extension. And when you activate it, this is going to show up here. See, so in this yellow little thing with um with two arrows so you play a video and then i'll show you what happens when i click on it So you can use it for the karaoke uh, videos and for your songs and that way it's going to be easy for you 
to know what key is better for you. You can try going one semitone above, two semitones above or below until you find a key that is more helpful for you. So, you know, if you are singing a song by a male and you are a woman, you're probably going to have to bring the key up and vice versa. In music, an interval is the distance between two notes, okay? So, small intervals. Yeah, so for example, um, that is a five-tone scale and we go one step at a time, so that is small intervals and that is easier to sing than if I sing something that has a bigger gap between the notes, right? For example, this. is an arpeggio and it has a bigger gap between the notes. And so notes that have a big gap are much harder to sing than songs that have smaller gaps between the notes. So for example, a song like Somewhere Over the Rainbow, it starts with an octave interval and that is really hard. Somewhere, that's actually quite hard as a beginner. So when you are just starting, try to look for songs that have smaller gaps between the notes. Then from there you can move on to more complex songs. So that is another component of a song that we choose for beginners. One song that will be good for you as a beginner, has small gaps between the notes, is the song Lean On Me. Sometimes in our lives. Yeah, so that's one step at a time and it makes it a little bit easier. And the whole verse is like that. Now, the third component that you have to have on mind when you are choosing a song to sing as a beginner is what scale is a song built on. Songs are built around scales, based on scales. There are many, many scales, but the most common scale that you will ever find is the major scale. In fact, the other scales that are also quite common are based on the major scale. Most songs that you know are probably in the major scale anyway. So that is, this is a major scale, by the way, if you don't know it. Because this scale is so common, whether you know it or not, it's in your ear and it's in your background. You already know it somehow, conscious or, un or unconsciously. And so if you choose songs that are built in this scale, this is going to be more familiar for your ear and easier to sing. So in the list that I'm going to leave below, the songs are also in the major scale. Now the fourth component that you have to have on mind is the ornaments of the song. Some songs have a lot of stylistic elements to it, and um, that are like very uh, appropriate for certain genres, like ah! So you don't want to choose songs that have too many of those, at least at the beginning, because those are skills that we build from a foundational technique and that we build when our ear training is good enough to at least sing a song in tune and on key. So ornaments, runs, trails, all that, all that things come later on. Try to choose songs that don't have a ton of ornaments on it. For example, again, Lean On Me. It's quite a clean melody and that can help you build your scales much more easily. A lot of singers come sometimes when they are just starting and they bring songs like really, really hard, like unchained melodies and things like that. And they tell me, I want to learn a hard song from the beginning because I want a challenge. Then it always ends the same way. They end up frustrated and just abandoning the singing altogether and just believing they, they will never learn. All of that could have been avoided if they properly chose a song for beginners instead of a song designed for a professional singer. And this is so important. In my experience in teaching, I can guarantee that the fastest progress in my students when they start from scratch is when they choose songs that are appropriate for their level, rather than things that are way out of the league. And that way they resolve the song, then they are ready for the next challenge. I call it the comfort zone plus one formula. Always something, well, at least when you are choosing songs to train your voice and to train your instrument, the songs that are not impossible for you, but that have a little challenge, and that is how you grow. At least in my experience and for my students, that is why I have worked. So I hope that was helpful for you. If you want my list, again, it's in the description below. And if you like this video, 
please subscribe. Also, if you are interested in this weird music stuff that I am talking about, I am about to release a course on introduction to songwriting. So, if you are interested in taking that, you should definitely check out my webpage, which I'm going to leave in the description below as well, and you should subscribe to my newsletter so you will be the first one to know when the course is open.